All right, so I got my hands on this three pack ready to roll for my Atherin with the rug on. So let's cut this guy open and see if we get inside. So uh, you see that we have our after newsletter here. And of course you have your parts list here. Pretty simple and basic looking car. Got your warranty information on the back as usual. So let's get this out the way. Now it comes the, of course the three pack here. And it comes individually wrapped with the soft plastic. Take a look at some of the detail you have here. Now you got a separately applied grab barns there, which is metal. We have a 100 ton truck there. You got a full tab. And then you got your information here written on your car. It looks uh, very legible. Well, legible, I should say. Under the magnification here on the car, you can see uh, the writing. Nothing's bleeding. Everything looks pretty good on the car. Pretty much is the same car and copies also have a single pack or single cars and I got this one three pack then we'll take a look at one of the cars that we uh got there we compared a model site like you can't find the real name real number sometimes you gotta go a different route so what i did was use the owner's class to find this tsg10 which is also written here on the car um look for a real name real number and got close to you know the numbers but pretty much these owners class and the AR types are the same type of car. Only the difference is going to be a different road and number. So, found a car here that's back in 1991. And you can see that look correct font here with the road name and road number. Yeah, grab barns, breaking correct style. Come across, you do have in here on the bottom of the car in yellow as you can see you see later up a closer shots of it here you got the real gun here big logo looks good you got your nationwide gondola pool got the end here on the ribbing and you got the builders plate and lube board here and also you have that logo here on the car which is uh, pretty good and you also see the owners class here which is an acrylic location of the car. And as far as the grab barns here, this is a little different because on the top grab barn is different from the rest. The top one is straight, but the bottom one is bent down as you can see here on the car. Look at the photos here. Um, it's going back over to the side of the car for the moment. You see you have a, a pull here. A tab here on the car, which is done correctly on the well, it is on the model, and you do see some of the information that's in the correct location. Take a look at another car uh, that comes with the McCary plastic couplers, metal wheels, and an axle. Comes with a little detailed truck uh, because in the back you have the a separately applied brake shoe detail under here. It reminds me of the roundhouse. Also on the end, have a little platform, and you have a septi applied brake. And of course, at the end, you have your septi applied grab irons. You have some detail here on top of the car. Take a look inside the cars. Pretty bland. Scale here, and this weighted car. So the car coming out to be 3.2 ounces. Is it consistent? I have the entire set of this Monroe weather wash and I already sprayed 
that with the Carline 13, 11, I believe it is. And I'm gonna put that Monroe in my airbrush. This straight up, not, I shook it up pretty well and it's not diluted, so let's see what happens. Now I'm gonna hit it with a grommy black, straight up, not cut. 